Woo, we bull is stepping it up. Their options game is trying to match, think, or swim. Let me show you some of these new features. Hey, y'all, my name is Lala. I love everything stock market and wealth building. I'm a full-time entrepreneur, options, and futures trader, and here to talk all about the grind. Let's get into it. Looking at some of these new tools on Webull, one thing I first want to point out is some of the chart tools that they have. So they are actually putting things on the chart that explain to you what the chart is doing. So this here is a triple triple moving average crossover. Then you got the fast stochastic price cross the moving average, a triple top, double moving average crossover. And then if you're like, okay, well, what is a fast stochastic? You just click on it and it actually tells you this right here. Close price, the volume, the pattern duration. And then look at this megaphone top. What is that? Right here, this megaphone top is this right here. It says the pattern is 88 days and the target price is 111 to 114. So this is letting you know that medium term, they are thinking that within, I guess, five days, this is going to get to this price. I mean, of course, this isn't, I'm sure you all know this isn't financial advice, but it's it's, it's pretty dope if you ask me. Um, so it'll let you know if you click on it, what exactly it is. Triple top, that's medium term bearish. Then go Google it if you want to find out some more or watch a YouTube video on it. But I think it's really dope that they're adding these things. They have also added new indicators that they didn't have before if you are an indicator person um you know st things like the VWAP bands i think are really cool um and whatever else they may have here that you may be interested in but it's really cool the the, the things that they are adding to their charts to try to make it a little bit easier for people to learn they also have an entire learning center here that they will teach you stocks and stock um, introduction to you know how many how you can set it up frequently use features that type of thing some of the new things that they have so I'm not sure if y'all have seen this before but before they had paper trading paper trading you could always do but they now finally have paper options trading so if you want to get some practice doing some paper trading with some options you can definitely do that I really like this um, you can set this chart up however you want and you can have this as your practice screen yeah practicing gets talked down about it's not your real money but it just like before you take a test you do homework call this homework call your practice your homework and you can set it up and then go back to your stocks and actually execute so I really like this for, you know, setting up the, the chart exactly how you want it and being able to execute and practice it first before you actually make the real trade. So um, that is really cool. The next thing I wanted to show you guys was the new screener. They also now have an option screener that they didn't have before. And here are some of the filters that you can filter by. Volume, open interest, delta implied volatility uh, that type of thing you know especially if you want to keep it your implied volatility low then you just click save and it'll give you matches for um, options contracts that meet the parameters that you set so I think this is really cool um, give Webull another look if you haven't looked at it lately and let me show you really quickly how you can do some new things on mobile let's talk to talk about people desktop taking a look at nvidia here and the options chain you can now go to the probability analysis tab and see the probability of what you want to trade so what is the probability of the options that you're looking at? Okay, you want to go in the money or out the money? Do you want to change your probability range from 68% to 95%? There are many ways that you can look at this and kind of see. Then we have the volume statistics tab that gives you volume distribution for these options. Analysis on the strikes, the calls, the puts, 
the volume, the ratio, all of these things that it gives you if you scroll down these tabs, it's actually pretty dope. Then if you come over here to the options discover tab, you can look at different strategies that you may want to play with NVIDIA. Do you want to, do you think it will go up? Do you think it will go down? Do you think it will stay above a certain price or will it stay below? And then it shows you the different strategies that you can use. Okay, so let's say if we wanted to do a long put, we think it's going to go down. It actually gives you different strike prices here, premiums that you would pay, what your break even is, and the percentage that it will take you to get there. And you can look at different dates and plan your strategy around this. Webull is actually really stepping it up, guys. So let's say if we thought it would stay above a certain price. Okay, we'll sell a cash secured put. And these are the statistics for it, the probability in the money, et cetera, et cetera. And if we say we think it's going to go up, we buy a long call, this is what we will pay. These are the statistics. So I think it's really dope that they are doing this. Of course, you know, this is the regular options chain that you can look at um, and change by date. And then, you know, you go to this specific options page and these are the statistics that it gives you, you know, so you can actually analyze this stuff so much better on YouTube mobile now than you used to be able in the past. So now they have this new thing where you can take limit orders and as you're placing it, you can do this take profit stop loss order at the same time. I really like these bracket orders and at first they only had them on Thinkorswim. Now Webull has them. So if you do this limit price and take profit stop loss, it'll enter your brackets on as you enter the trade. So you will have here that you can buy it at that price, take profit at a certain price, and your stop loss is at a certain price. And then, of course, if you want to do a, a, just a regular market order, you can do the same thing. But I really like these brackets that they have added that they didn't have before. Before, you would have to go manually add this. Now you can do it as you enter each trade. So thanks, we bull stepping it up. So another thing I wanted to point out was this new thing of closing. You can create a rolling order or you can take a takes profit stop loss the same way as if you didn't do this in the beginning, then you can establish this bracket order after you have already placed the trade. But these create rolling orders mean that you can actually roll these orders over. So say I wanted to roll this long put out to another week. You know, say I've been holding this for a while um, and I wanted to go out. This is the 20th it expires. So I wanted to go out to maybe the 27th and roll this over and see, just basically sell this one and create a new order, automatically rolling it over for me at the price that I want. So say I was going to pick this 160 put and I wanted to just roll it over, it will automatically enter these brackets in for me. And then I can set my limit price or as the market and place the trade. I think this is extremely dope that I did not see. Well, they definitely didn't have before. And then of course, you know, if you sell to close, you have your normal brackets that you can do. I re definitely recommend not just doing a stop loss, do brackets.